Hello everyone, my name is Arden, and welcome back to another video. Yo, today I'll be taking a look at set 71731, the epic battle set Zane vs. Nindroid. So of course this set is from Ninjago Legacy, and is based around Season 3 of Ninjago. Of course that Zane outfit has not appeared in any sort of Ninjago content. It's just a new design, and I quite like it actually, I think it's a nice figures. So this set has 57 pieces and is for ages 6 and up. With this set of course you get the two minifigures and then the two builds. So before I take a look at the minifigures I'll take a look at the builds here. So out of the four uh, epic battle sets that released in 2021, I believe in January of 2021, since then these have retired, but you might still be able to find them at some stores. I know I found a couple of them at my closest LEGO Discovery Center and some other stores, like I found these two on Indigo on their online site, and I know they've recently been in stores as well. So this one out of the four does seem like you get the most here. You're getting two sizable builds on these uh, plates here, well, as in the other ones, you don't get that much like for the coal one you get one build and then you get a really small cart build but this one you are getting two builds now I don't find these are as interesting builds as the other two I think they're the least detailed of them but you are still getting kind of more if uh, you're looking at it that way so the first one the smallest one the least detailed one you have the plate that down there you can place some minifigure some uh, window pieces used just to elevate this build a bit more. Also this gate here that can be moved up and down really depending on how you want to position it. I think it's built all quite nicely. You, if you have some extra ninjroids, you can just have them kind of walking up here and uh, looking down at the fight of the ninjroid versus Zane. I think this is a decent side build. It doesn't use many pieces, uh, but I still think it's pretty good. This one has a bit more function to it. I think the design here is nice. I like the red, purple, black, and light bluish gray design here. So the back of it, uh, you can see that Technic pin there, which isn't nice, really that nice to see, but you're really not gonna be looking at that side. Uh, here you have a, uh, just say, bit there that you uh, clip that you can uh, clip the Nindroid's weapon to that uh, the function here is that you would place the Nindroid on this stud right here, and then you would place them down and get them onto the two studs, pull that up, and then deploy your Nindroid to fight uh, the Zane minifigure. So I think um, out of these, not a lot of them have as much function as this one, so that does uh, add a bit more play value to these builds. Now I think, most people are probably buying these for the minifigures, and that's for sure why I wanted to buy these. Except for the cool one, because I really just like sticks and anything from Season 5, so I'll basically buy any Season 5 set except that Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty Floor 4 Plus Sex. I think that just looks really bad. Uh, but these builds are nice. Um, I don't think they're as detailed as the other four, but I do think especially this one has probably the most function of any of the four epic battle sets builds. But now I'll take a look at the minifigures from this set. So here are the uh, minifigures of this set. You have a basic Nindroid figure with no accessories added to it like you see on a lot of the Nindroids, whether it's the mask piece or some sort of armor piece or some sort of back. Piece. You don't have that here. It's just the basic Nindroid minifigure with the saw weapon as well as the Zane there. So uh, this Nindroid minifigure, it's uh, quite nice. I like this design, of course. I was still collecting Ninjago when Rebooted was coming out, so I do have some of those older Nindroid minifigures. And I think the face is better on those uh, or on this one. I do have some of the parts uh, here. Um, here are just some of the older parts, just to kind of compare it. Here are the older Nindroid head versus the newer one. And I think those purple lines that go throughout it really add some nice detail. So I'd say this new design here is better. The torso print looks good. Of course, you don't have any light print, which is a little disappointing. But 
for the new Legacy Nindroids, we haven't really seen any leg print. It has some sort of saw weapon with a red lightsaber hilt there piece, and it looks uh, pretty nice. It's a nice cheap way to get another Nindroid minifigure. The next uh, figure in this set is for sure the highlight of this set for me, and it is the Zane minifigure. This is in the uh, Legacy design uh, Zane that's not necessarily based off any season. He has the blue uh, shuriken pieces which look really nice. I do wish they had a uh, stud on them so that you could use like those superhero pe stand pieces to kind of make a nice pose with this minifigure but they don't have anywhere really you can clip those. Uh, the light printing looks nice uh, same as the torso printing. The hip printing there doesn't necessarily match that belt area doesn't match with the white on the torso print, uh, but I still think it it looks nice. I can't really tell what's going on with this torso. It's just kind of confused me what exactly I'm looking at with this torso piece, the white and the silver. I just don't know exactly what's going on with this outfit, but I think it looks really nice. He has some toe printing there. There is the face print. There's no back face print because of the short hair piece in silver there. It's nice to get that. And uh, just pulling off this face so you can see it. It is a more angry expression for Zane. My uh, particular version of this, the eyes are a little bit uh, misprinted in a way so that the uh, actual, it's just uh, a bit off there. I've gotten used to it now, but uh, that's for sure something I did notice with this figure. You do get a second one, the mask piece there in that light blue color. And I think these two minifigures are pretty nice and nice draws towards getting this set. So here is the box art of this set. I really like what they did for these epic battle sets, having the two minifigures front and center, because that's of course really what you're buying these sets for. I think the Nintroid and the Zane both look quite nice on it. Like all sets, you have the set information there. On the side, you have the amount of weapons that you have in this set, which is nice to get multiples of those. Of course, you have the other three sets there, the builds and how to use the uh, Spinjitsu piece there. On the uh, inner area here, you have the versus section, which has the Ninjroid and the Zane. Zane is at a 1,100, while the Ninjroid is at a 1,000, meaning probably in this fight, Zane would likely win. I'd be shocked if one Ninjroid beat uh, this Ninjroid of Zane. Uh, but yeah, I think this is really nice packaging and uh, it just adds to some nice epic battle sets. So with all of these uh, Ninjago epic battle sets, you get one of these uh, Ninjago spinner spinjitsu pieces where you will place your minifigure onto it and then it can spin. There it is. I think it looks uh, really nice. It's a really good system. It's a simple system and it works quite nicely. I do like it when it comes with that Spinjitsu piece, but of course this doesn't have that. Um, I would like it to, but that's just never going to happen unless, of course, you're really taking away from a lot of the builds here. Uh, but it's a very nice system and I think it's a really effective system that should be added to quite a few sets if it makes sense to do so. So here's the extra set of weapons in the Zane's Epic Battle set. I must say on camera, these look like they're glowing almost. They're not exactly that when you actually have them in person. Uh, but this one's pretty nice. Obviously getting an extra set of these weapons is nice and you have multiples of each one. You have two extra shurikens. Of course, two are used in the set, so you get a f total of four. You have the scythe one that's used for the coal Epic Battle set. Then the one used for Jay with that cool dragon head design. And the sword katana one that's used for Kai. Also, since uh, Zane is using the shuriken pieces, there's no use for this dragon hilt piece. But you do get an extra one, and it's a really nice piece, so it's nice to have an extra one of these. The uh, detailing here is just really nice on that piece, and that's for sure one of my favorite pieces in the Ninjago line. And it's really nice to get an extra set of these weapons. So that was my review of the Zane vs. Nintroid Epic Battle set. I really like this set. I think the two minifigures in it are nice. The exclusive Zane is a for sure plus. The builds, even though they're not detailed, they do add a bit of function, especially with that one being the 
able to deploy the Nindroid is pretty cool. I would say build-wise, this is probably my least favorite of the four sets. I've been kind of just trying to rank these uh, as I continue to do the reviews. For the enemy minifigure, I would say this is probably my least favorite of them. Uh, I really love that Ghost Warrior minifigure. I'm just a sucker for anything Season 5. Uh, the Snake uh, Serpent minifigure is nice from the J and the Kai Skulkin minifigure, I think is a cool minifigure. I think I kind of like those better than the Ninjroids. The Ninjroids are probably on my bottom tier of Ninjago maskable villain characters. And then the Zane minifigure, I would say comparing it to the other ones, I would say this is my... Uh, I don't know where exactly I'd put it. I think my favorite's for sure that J, then maybe Kai, then uh, this Zane, then probably Cole, even though I love that Cole set, the Cole minifigure is not, that maybe I have to put that Cole up, I'm not sure, uh, but the build's for sure my least favorite of the four sets, I still think this is a really good epic battle set, and if you do see it, uh, still for its regular price of, I believe, $13 Canadian, I think it's a fair price, and a really good set, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.